Florida is known for its beautiful beaches and sunny weather, and it's a popular destination for people looking to relocate. But before you make the move, there are some common mistakes you should avoid. Everything from housing choices and climate considerations to lifestyle adjustments and financial decisions. Whether you're relocating for work, retirement, or just seeking a change of scenery, this video will help you navigate the potential pitfalls associated with a move to Florida. We'll shed light on the common misconception that Florida is all about beaches and tourist attractions, although they are amazing. So you want to make your transition smooth and stress-free? Let's start by addressing the first mistake on our list. Mistake number one, underestimating the cost of living. While Florida may seem like a place with lower expenses, certain areas can be quite pricey. Florida has one of the lowest overall tax burdens of any U.S. state, which impacts the cost of living. In Florida, there is no state income tax, but the cost of living in Florida is about 1% higher than the national average. Housing is 4% higher than the national average, while utilities are 1% higher. Homeowner's insurance is crazy high, so you need to check out the current premiums for homeowner's insurance and calculate that into your living expenses. When it comes to basic necessities such as food and clothing, groceries are around 2% lower than the rest of the country and clothing costs about 2% lower. Healthcare services like doctor checkups and going to the dentist cost 4% lower in Florida compared with the national average. At the same time, non-necessary expenses such as entertainment and grooming services are 2% lower. The cost of living in Florida varies depending on the city you live in. The priciest city in Florida is Fort Lauderdale, where the cost of living is 20% higher than the state average and 21% higher than the rest of the U.S. The cheapest major city in Florida is Palm Coast with a cost of living 14% lower than the state average and 13% lower than the national average. If you really dig deeper into this, you'll get different information from different sources. Be sure to budget accordingly to avoid any financial surprises. Mistake number two, neglecting hurricane preparation. Florida is no stranger to hurricanes and being prepared is crucial. No matter where you live in the state, you need some level of preparation when a hurricane is headed your way. Make sure you have a plan in place, stock up on essential supplies, supplies and secure your property to minimize any potential damage. It's not necessarily something that everybody in Florida has to deal with every year. Especially if you live inland, you might not need to do anything if a hurricane isn't directly threatening your area. But the mistake some people make is thinking they can ride out a direct hit or even an indirect hit. You might need to evacuate. You might lose power for days. You might have property damage. So if you're new to Florida, you need to learn how to prepare. It's easy to find a hurricane checklist and put together a hurricane kit. You can find out how to do all that from your local government or local TV station. Just don't make the mistake of ignoring a hurricane if it's heading your way. Mistake number three, overlooking the humidity. Florida's tropical climate means high humidity levels, especially during the summer months. Be prepared for the heat and make sure you have proper air conditioning and ventilation to ensure a comfortable living environment. Florida is one of the most humid states with an average humidity of more than 85%. I think I read somewhere that Alaska is actually more humid, but it can be uncomfortable to be outside in Florida in the summer. Drink plenty of water and stay hydrated. It helps to keep a handy water bottle like this nearby. I can tell you after years of living in Florida, and other people tell me the same thing all the time, you get used to the heat and humidity after you've been in Florida for a year or two. When it comes to humidity, it's all relative. Mistake number four, forgetting about the bugs. Florida is home to a variety of insects and pests, from mosquitoes to palmetto bugs. When I first moved to Florida, I was in my 20s. I was so excited to be here. I moved into this apartment. I was getting settled in. I was in the bathroom, opened the medicine cabinet, and there was this giant roach in there. It flew out at me. It had wings. I screamed like a little girl. That's a palmetto bug. It sounds nicer than a roach, but it's a roach with wings. You know about mosquitoes. Do you know about noceums? They're these tiny little insects. You can barely see them, if at all. That's why they're called noceums. They're especially bad around sunset. They bite, they leave little red marks, and they itch for days. They're worse in some parts of the state than others. I don't really have an issue where I live, and I haven't seen a palmetto bug inside any place I've lived that I can remember in years and years. Just know that they're out there. Get a good exterminator and bug spray, 
Take all the precautions like ceiling cracks and keeping your living space clean, and you should avoid any unwelcome critters. Mistake number five, not taking advantage of the outdoor activities. Don't be afraid of those bugs and that humidity. With the stunning beaches and water sports, Florida offers endless opportunities for outdoor adventures. Of course, enjoy the swimming pool. We're so lucky to have all the attractions and the incredible beaches all around the state. But don't miss out on exploring the natural beauty that surrounds you like Florida's natural springs and nature preserves. Remember, moving to Florida can be a dream come true, but it's important to avoid these common mistakes. Prepare financially, be hurricane ready, embrace the humidity, and fend off the bugs and make the most out of the outdoor activities this fantastic state has to offer. There was a report that came out in 2023 highlighting the happiest states in America, and Florida ranked among the top 10. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and if you found this information helpful, be sure to subscribe for more information about moving to Florida and buying and selling real estate, and tips and tricks to make for a smooth relocation. See you next time.